the purpose of education is to make good human beings with skill and expertise enlightened human beings can be created by teachers hello students and welcome back to the most interesting lecture of coordinate geometry today we are going to solve practice set 5.1 before starting with practice set 5.1 let's revise distance formula so here comes the distance formula okay students so distance formula what is distance formula suppose there are two points point a x1 y1 and point b x2 y2 and we have to find the distance between these two points that is we have to find the length of segment ab so the formula for finding out the length of segment ab is root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square this can also be written as distance between two points that is point a and point b okay students so this is nothing but the distance formula now let's solve one example so here comes the question for the example first that is find the distance between the points a4 comma 2 and b2 comma minus 1 students there are two points given over here a and b let a be x1 y1 and i will consider b as x2 y2 okay students what i told you a will be considered as x1 y1 and b as x2 y2 so students the value of x1 will be 4 the value of y1 will be 2 value of x2 will be 2 and value of y2 will be minus 1 yes so let's write it down the values of x1 is 4 value of y1 is 2 value of x2 is 2 and value of y2 is minus 1 students now we are going to apply distance formula and what is distance formula distance formula is root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square students do we know the value of x2 yes the value of x2 is 2 what is the value of x1 yes value of x1 is 4 so we will write in the next step that is 2 minus 4 the whole square plus the value of y2 we are going to substitute the value of y2 in place of y2 over here okay so the value of y2 is minus 1 and value of y1 is 2 okay students so let's write the next step that is distance between point a and b is 2 minus 4 the whole square plus minus 1 minus 2 the whole square let's come to the next step what is 2 minus 4 what is 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so it becomes minus 2 the whole square plus minus 1 minus 2 the operation will be addition for this because there are two negative signs so the operation will be addition that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 and the sign which we are going to write is a sign for a, a greater number the greater number sign is negative so the sign will be negative means operation is positive and the sign is negative over here so minus 2 the whole square plus minus 3 the whole square students what is the square of minus 2 yes the square of every negative number is always positive so it becomes root of minus 2 square will be 4 so it will be root of 4 plus 9 and root of 4 plus 9 is root 13 so i can say distance between point a and b is root 13 units and this is my final answer so was it very very simple yes so let's start with practice set 5.1 and come to the first question of practice set 5.1. Now what's the first question? First question is find the distance between the points A 2, 3 and B 4, 1. As we know we are going to consider point A as x1, y1 and B as x2, y2. So let's write down the step that let a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 be the given points so the value of x1 becomes 2 value of y1 becomes 3 value of x2 becomes 4 and value of y2 is 1 okay students we had just compared b x2 comma y2 with b 4 comma 1 and 
by comparing we get got the value that is x2 is 4 and y2 is 1 and x1 is 2 and y1 is 3 it is just a comparison okay students so the next step will be by distance formula distance between point a and b can be given as root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so students let's substitute the values over here the value for x2 is 4 the value for x1 is 2 what is the value for y1 and y2 y2 is 1 and y1 is 3 so the numbers and the values shaded with green are the values for the x coordinate and the value shaded with blue are the values for y coordinate so in the next step we are going to substitute the values that is 4 minus 2 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 the whole square and the whole both the terms will be uh, under root okay so it is root of 4 minus 2 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 the whole square as we all know the value of x2 is 4 the value of x1 is 2 value of y2 is 1 and value of y1 is 3 so what is 4 minus 2 yes it is very very simple it is 2 square and 1 minus 3 the whole square is 1 minus 3 is minus 2 the whole square so it becomes 2 square 4 minus 2 square will also be equal to 4 so it becomes root of 4 plus 4 that is root of 8 so we can write it as root 8 units yes students is it very very simple okay so shall we move on to the next question yes we will move on to the next question but students is root 8 reducible yes root 8 is reducible so how what when we'll see it in the next question how the values of roots are in a reducible form so let's come to the second question the question is find the distance between the points minus 5 comma 7 and minus 1 comma 3 the points are given as point p and point q let's start with the solution part the first thing which we are going to write in the solution that we are going to consider point p as x1 y1 and point q as x2 y2 so x1 y1 is minus 5 comma 7 and q x2 y2 is minus 1 comma 3 students here i had written the symbol as equivalent this symbol is said to be equivalent symbol okay students so as we are mentioning the coordinates over here we are going to write the symbol for as equivalent so we can compare it very clearly the value for x1 is minus 5 value for y1 is 7 x2 is minus 1 and y2 is 3 students let's write the values x1 is minus 5 y1 is 7 x2 is minus 1 and y2 is 3 as we all know we have to find the distance between point p and q so we are going to apply distance formula so what is distance formula distance formula is given by root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square students what's the value for x2 the value for x2 is minus 1 what's the value for x1 it's minus 5 y2 is 3 and y1 is 7 okay students so let's substitute the value in the next equation so here are the values which have been substituted the value for x2 has been substituted as minus 1 and x1 as minus 5 y2 is 3 so i had substituted 3 over here and y1 is 7 okay so now minus into minus becomes plus so in the next step i will write that minus 1 plus 5 which is equal to 4 square and 3 minus 7 is minus 4 square so 4 square plus minus 4 the whole square the answer for both will be same that is 16 so it becomes root 16 plus root 16 which is root 32 students now i will write the final answer as the distance between point pq is 4 root 2 units now the question arises how sir how 4 root 2 students here root 32 can be prime factorized how the root 32 can be prime factorized as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 
फाइव टाइम्स टू एंड ओवर इयर वी कैन मेक अ पैर टू इंटू टू वन पैर टू इंटू टू द अनदर पैर सो वट इज टू इंटू टू इट्स फोर एंड डू वी नो द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर येस इट्स टू सो वन टू विल बी आउट ऑफ द स्क्वायर रूट द अदर टू विल बी आउट ऑफ द स्क्वायर रूट सो इट वुड बी टू इंटू टू आउटसाइड द स्क्वायर रूट एंड वन टू इन साइड द रूट सो इट बिकम्स टू इंटू टू विच इज फोर एंड हेंस इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर रूट टू यूनिट सिमिलरली एट इन द प्रीवियस सम रूट एट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इंटू टू इंटू टू सो टू टू विल बिकम वन टू आफ्टर इट कम आउट ऑफ द रूट एंड देर विल बी वन रूट टू रिमेनिंग सो रूट एट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू रूट टू यूनिट्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो यर इन दिस वे वी हैव सॉल्व थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिस सेट फाइव पॉइंट वन एंड बेस्ड ऑन डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स सो आई होप एवरी वन मई हैव अंडरस्टूड ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव अ नाइस डे बी एट योर प्लेस बी सेफ थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स बाय बाय